Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is May 17, 2021, and this is episode 304. It's the middle of the month, so we are going to do Indie Recommends. These are the comic books that I am currently reading and hopefully will be able to finish out if they keep going strong like they have been. And let's start off with Vexstar. This is Joe Corella. Just came out, I think, two weeks ago, maybe. And it's a space, um, futuristic space adventure. Basically, they've got a item that they're trying to keep away from the bad guys. But uh, so far, so good. It has an all-female cast, but it's not overly political, pol politically agendized. So it's it's been kind of fun this first time around. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we'll be reading this still next month. Next up is from Marvel. Beta Ray Bill. Now I think we're two episodes in, or two, uh, I should say two issues in on this. This is a fantastic comic. Very, very um, well done. Um, I can't think of who the writer is on this, but... Um, well, it says right up there, Daniel Warren Johnson is the writer. He's doing an excellent job. Kind of came out at the end of the uh, King in Black run there, so or event. So, so far, so good on that. Very strong. A lot of people have liked that one. This next one is Blade Runners, Blade Runner Origins. Um, this is done by Kay Perkins. And Mellow Brown, I believe those are the two writers on this. And it's talking about the first Blade Runner ever. So, um, first issue, I kind of liked it, but not wasn't sold on it. The next two were very good. So, we're three issues in on this one. Liking it a lot. And this is a Titan comic. Next up, as I pull from my own pull box, Berserker. We're two issues in on this. Uh, this is the Keanu Reeves a Matt Kent um, collaboration. And from my understanding, it's going to be made into a TV show or movie or something, perhaps. Or at least they're, they're looking at making it into one now. Um, very intense action throughout. I'm probably going to step away from this, be, just only because I've already pre-ordered the trades, the three trades <laughs> that I'll be getting, I guess, over the next year and a half from a, a Kickstarter it was either Kickstarter or Indiegogo, I can't remember, um, project. So I have did reviews on the first two. I'll continue to recommend it to anybody that wishes to read it. Next up is Awa Upshot's Chariot. We're two issues in on this. Um, Brian Edward Hill's doing a great job of it. It's kind of like a kit car, but it's got the ghost of a, a female spy in it. So... So far, so good on that. It's pretty entertaining stuff. After that, oops, what happened here? No, that's right. Chasing the Dragon. This is a heavy metal issue. Um, or I should say published by Heavy, Michel, <laughs> heavy Metal, the magazine. Um, I think we're three issues in on this. It's a little weird, a little quirky. The art in it is very dynamic throughout. I can't... Um, recommend it for everybody but if you like a little mystery and mystery and uh, like fantasy and you like trying to figure things out this might be the book for you okay next up after that we've got a blazes the Sumerian iron shadows in the moon a Vinnie or Virginie Augustin is the writer on this. This this is the second arc that Ablaze has come out with. And the first one, the art was spectacular and the story was very uh, brutal and gripping. This one is a little more of a thinking, thinking man's Conan so far, but it's been pretty interesting and good and fun. So that is a recommend. After that, four issues in on Deep Horizon. This is uh, Andolfo. Mirka Aldendolfo doing the writing on this one. It's about a conspiracy in the future. 
that's taking place under the sea where there's this strange disease. People are getting down there in, in the sub, sub uh, deep water labs, I should say. And it's got corporate intrigue and all kinds of neat stuff in it. So that is a recommend. After that, bringing up the edge. I can't really remember too much about this. It's been a long time in between issues. And you can see the edge up the side. And second story, I can't remember, I can't even read the, uh, the publisher's mark on there. But this has been pretty, this was pretty decent. Decent enough that I will try to get the second issue and read that. Next up, probably my least favorite of my continuing series is Engine Ward. And it's not because I don't like the story. I do like the story. There's just some other things going on with, within it that have um that bother me a bit for instance this character ichabod i really like this character and they're hardly using him at all so that's one of the things right off the bat that i can tell you i believe george mann is the writer this is a vault comics and we're like eight issues in on that sir got this right actually nine issues in on that next up from Image Comics, Mad Ghost. This is Geiger. This is the Jeff Johns, Gary Frank combination about a radioactive man. Ten years in the future, um, the bombs have been dropped, but somehow he survived it. And he's going up against a host of crazies that are living in Las Vegas. So, so far so good. It's two issues in, like I said. Sticking with it. It's entertaining enough. That's, that's a big portion. The story's decent enough. God of War, Fallen God. This is three issues in. I think the next one is the, is the finale. Um, I don't know a lot about Kratos. Uh, I, I kind of did a little bit of research after I bought the comic, but the art in it's been pretty good. The first issue, the art was very, very good. Then the other two issues after that, not quite as strong. The story's getting a little bit more interesting as I'm learning more about him. There was no backstory given, so unless you're playing the games, you might have a struggle getting or having an enjoyable time reading that comic. Next up, this one just came out maybe two weeks ago. Uh, Helm Grace Grey Castle, and I believe this is based on a RPG game. Um, so far, so good. It's a, it's a group of adventurers, and their current adventure is actually taking place in Aztec Mayan landscape. So that was kind of an interesting twist. This is a top cow coming out of Image. I think we're five issues in on this next one, Homesick Pilots. It's about a punk band in the 90s that gets involved with this haunted house that has supernatural powers. Even the government is involved within it at this point. So um, there's been people chewed up by this house. It's pretty intense. Um, sticking with it, interesting enough. I think we're f the first five issues have finished. Then uh, this one, I'm still waiting for the next one on this one. I, I Make Boys Cry. I think I've it's like two months ago I got this one. This is Absolute Comics Group. It's also the comics group that does um, White Widow, if you remember that book. So we'll see how that goes. This is about Teenage Assassin School. Iron Fist, we're five issues? Five issues in on this one, one more to go. Heart of the Dragon, this has been a very enjoyable comic. Larry Hama is doing the writing on this, and he's got a good story going. And it's brought in a lot of unusual characters uh, together in this one. Because people like Taskmaster, Fat Cobra, Dog Soldier, uh, just to name a few. Just some very strange ones. But hopefully we'll see those, because they're pretty neat. I, I'm hoping to see them in other future comics, not just Iron Fist. And the next one is... James Bond, we're three issues in on this. Ian Fleming's James Bond, and Agent of Spectre. This is a vast improvement from the last arc coming out from Dynamite. Um, there's a lot of 
double and triple crossing going on in this story. It was a little hard to get into it at the beginning, but the payoff is there. So we're three issues in on that one. From DC Comics, uh, one of two that I'm reading by them, The Joker. This is James Tinney and the Fourth doing this, plus you get a, um, a backstory for Punchline as she goes through her trial. And this came in at $4.99 only, and it was, it's the art in it's very good, and the story's very good. It actually should be called James Gordon, because James Gordon is mostly, <laughs> the story seems to be about him with Joker showing up in a few pages only in each story so far. It's been worth three issues in on this one. But that is also a recommend. Uh, from Mike Magnolia and Dark Horse comes Lady Baltimore. The arc is called The Witch Queens. And in this story, she's trying to find her husband, who they thought was dead, but there's been reports that he's alive. Now there's this coven of witch queens that are, are kind of dogging them along the way. A lot of interesting characters in this. Um, that's why I'm sticking with it. I think we're two issues in on the five on that one. Moving right along to The Land That Time Forgot, the Edgar Rice Burroughs universe. The name of this arc is Fearless. Mike Wolfer, who I really enjoy his writings, doing the work on this. I think we're two issues in, two or three issues in on this one. So one more to go. Uh, a real surprise comic coming from Garth Ennis that I had thought was really good. Um, Mar Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal, just one of eight so far. This is the Awa Upshot. They're really pouring on the, the good comics. Uh, time is on her side. It's time tra traveling bandit, basically, stealing from the, from the past. So, uh, so far, so good on that one. Another Mike Wolfer coming from... from um, American Mythology Productions, The Moon Maid. The name of this arc is The Three Keys. I think we're two issues in on this. Just kind of a fun comic. Very action-packed. Very, very action-packed. Next up is another image comic, Noctura. I think we're three issues in on this one. Yeah, three issues in. Scott Snyder is writing this. Uh, a lot of people have been liking this one as well. The art in it's very good. And it's about a world where there's no light, and if you stay in the dark too long, you get diseased and turn into a mutated night creature. So, pretty good so far. Our new twist on Robin Hood, we have Nottingham. This is coming out from Mad Cave. Uh, Beckstar was also a Mad Cave one. This is three issues in, and it's crazy. It's actually two issues in, I'm sorry. Crazy story. You don't know if Robin Hood's good or bad. It's almost seeming at this point that the Sheriff of Nottingham is actually the good guy. So, very enjoyable. Really kind of strange art in it. It's very violent and bloody, as this cover would show as well. So, it's not a false cover of that, for sure. This one, I'm still waiting for the second issue to come out. The Scout Comics, Rabid World. It's kind of a zombie... Um, inflicted world with, but it's uh, r like rabies type disease. The people change very quickly. There's no weak incubation. It's more like uh, just a few hours and they change within a few hours. So things are going really crazy in the first issue here. Liking that a lot. Another favorite of mine, and we're three issues in on this, is Terry Moore's Serial. It's going to run 10 issues at least. Um, he said he's enjoying it so much, and the sales have been very strong on this one, that he's thinking that maybe he'll go further, 12 to 15 issues, I'm assuming. But we'll see. But right now, it's really good. The uh, first trade is coming out in July that'll have the first five issues in it. But really enjoyed this, uh, enjoying this mystery about a serial killer that they're trying to track down. Okay, up next is my other DC comic that I'm currently reading, uh, The Swamp Thing. This art and story, fantastic. The Ram V is doing the writing. Mike Perkins is doing the art on it, and it's just wonderful. Uh, it's one of ten. This one is one of ten. We're, we've got three issues down. The third issue starts kind of a, a mini story. The first two 
had a desert monster that they were dealing with. It had a nice ending on it. But three issues in on that. And we're getting near the end here. As we look at eight issues in on Vampire, The Masquerade. This is actually two stories. One is The Winter's Teeth and then The Anarch Tales. We have Tim Seeley working on the first story and Teeny Howard and Blake Howard working on the second. I've really been enjoying this, but you got to do your homework on it. you got to know your vampire lore. Um, you can do it through, I did it through Wiki, uh, Wiki, and then if you go to one of my reviews, the last two reviews, I did seven and eight issues. Um, there's actually a link to a glossary that will help you get through this too, but I think the story's been, a, it's been really exciting. And the art is um, really neat too. It's Minneapolis and, a, and it's snowing. It's the dead of winter there. So really cool. Up next, we're two issues in on this one. Vietnam Horror from Behemoth Comics. Very, very creepy. It's a black and white comic like Terry Moore Serial is. And just about these this platoon that's kind of stuck in the middle of Vietnam. And they're all having the same nightmare. And the nightmare's starting to come true. And it's a supernatural um, nature. So White Widow... I'm still kind of waiting for number six to come out on this one. It's Absolute Comics. I bought this one because it was a tie-in with I Make Boys Cry. Um, and this was supposed to kind of introduce that character. But I think I'll, I'll check out number six when it does come out. And let's see if there's anything after that. I think that's it. So, um, yeah. There you go. <laughs> So, so let me just put Beckstar out there so I can do my closing credits here. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out what Indy's reading this month. As always, please like, please subscribe, please leave comments, and we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. This is Indy Comics Jones bidding you adieu.